So, you've heard the stories from Saudi Arabia, and by the way, not all of them are nightmare stories, you'll be pleased to know. Some of them actually end up with happy endings. So here joining us today, Faith Murunga is in the house. She had a nightmare experience in Saudi Arabia, but right next to her, uh, Lona Jarop actually had a pleasant experience. And standing by in the background, on live on Skype, is the Cabinet Secretary for Labor and Social Services, Simon Chulugui. Let's get on it. I know you guys have a lot of questions and a lot of comments and maybe even questions for the Cabinet Secretary. So, Lorna, you first. Welcome, first of all, both ladies. Welcome. Thank Good you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Too. So, you, Lorna, yes. you, went, you went to Saudi Arabia back in 2014. Yeah. How did it happen? Tell us, walk us through that. How did it go? Okay, okay, this time I'm just seated around and I just wanted to do something. My life was not doing well. I was looking for a job, I didn't get a job. And then I was like, if I could ever get a chance to go outside, I would. So one day somebody, my neighbor just comes and tells me, by the do you get, can you get someone who wants to go outside? I told her, me, I want to. Then she told me, she, told, she asked me, are you serious? I said, yes, I want to. So we started the process and everything, and I never paid for anything, by the way. At the end of the and day- And you got all your paperwork, you got your passport. Everything, within ex exactly three weeks, I was in Saudi Arabia. Did but you know what you were going to do? Yes, they told me. She told me, but because I never, okay, what I did, I prayed a lot. Because even back then, we used to hear a lot of stories about what, what, what happens there, about the mistreatments, people dying, people being killed, suicidal. So I just said, let me just go, let me try my luck, but I prayed a lot. And I went there, I met the best boss, Mr. Ali. He was the best of the best. I found the best family. The, 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 both, both, I, had, I had two families. The guy was married to two wives, so I used to stay in this house, and the other, but I used to take care of their grandmother. And they all treated you well? All of them. And they all? All the families. And you loved being there? I loved being there. No problems, no issues? No problems, no issues, apart from what we call homesick. That's it? That's it. All How many me. times did you come home in those three years you were there? I never came back home. You were there straight three Because the, the contract is for two years, yes. All right, yes. Faith. Yeah. Yours was completely the opposite. <laughs> Terrible. Huh? Terrible. Nikat Nongia, two different countries here, eh? Terrible, yeah. Go on, tell us. Okay, uh, my journey to Saudi Arabia, it started like this. After, it was, uh, we go to training. After exactly 14 days, I was in Saudi Arabia. Training in Guapi, Hapa Uko? Siokimau. Uh -huh. yeah, after Sikimau, that's training, after training. Uh, training kuwa made, ama kuwa? Yeah, kuwa made, in the way you can handle our watu wote. Uko, in case you can do pati mtu mgonjwa uko, uneza muhando laje, watoto, watoto wa warabu, wa wachapu, ya washautiwi nini. So, unafundisho hizo vitu zote kupika, kufua na machine wengine wetu, atujai wana machine ya kufua. So, unafundisho hizo vitu zote, kupiga pasi hizo manguo zao. After that, unaenda kiambu kuchukua good conduct. Tukaenda na kuru, passport. After 14 days, niko kwa ndege. Straight? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. On, upon arrival, family walikuwaje? Eh, okay, upon arrival, family... Upon arrival, they took my passport. Immediately? Immediately. They took my passport. Eh, kuingia kwa nyumba, the first day, wakanipatia chakula, nikakula, nikaenda, nikalala. The, morning, eh, the next morning... <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Vitu zilianza kuambaya. The next morning, una finish your cards. Una tua vitu ju, una pandisha chini, una una tua ju, kirudisha chini, una tua chini, una rudisha ju. Okay, first day, second day, third day, I thought that the job with Aisha, but sik sikuwa vile ilikuwa na trajia. Your job ilikuja ikakuwa mingi. In a period of two months, I was tired. And then kuka kujia na ikitu. Watoto walikuwa gapi? Watoto walikuwa. Ini kingia kwa hiyo nyumba that time. Watoto walikuwa wawili. So mtoto watatu waka kujia nikiwa. And you were the only maid? I was the only maid. Because the family was not big. Was not that big. Wanabado wanaishi kwa mama. Wanaishi kwa mama juu. Now kuka kujia na idawa. The third month. The second month. Kuka kujia na dawa. Na mwekea mara tatu. Asibui jioni na jioni. Uyo mama? Uyo mama. Yeah, okay. After that, that was not part of my job. I did not sign for that. Un, Mimi lilikuwa housemaid. Unamanishaje kuweka dawa? Okay, lilikuwa namwekea dawa semu za nyeti. 
ya same za siri so ni kanza complain niliweka niliweka hiyo dawa like two month every day yeah every day thrice per day asibui jioni gloves ikakuja ikaisha wakati lil complain kwa mama sikuwaipatiwa dawa eh, baba akakuja akaniambia kwanza aliniambia kwa kiarabu akaniambia inti iji hina shughul mafirohi kenya mafirohi maktaba mafirohi anywhere inti hina khala shughul khala eh, the two years contract by then rohi kenya mafirohi which means nilikuja hapa kufanya kazi kazi yangu lazima nifanye so hii kazi nafanya ni part of that job mm -hmm. So ni lazima nimalize contract yangu ya 2 years ndio nirudi nyumbani. And kumbuka walikuwa wamenunua. Of which mimi sikujua. Nilijua kama nishafika huko nimenunuli, nimenunuliwa. So hata niki complain there's nothing they can do. Pesa hawa shakula. Na wanakuambia hivyo washakununua. Yeah, wan wanakuambia on your face. Inti jina ana sa fulus kitiri. But Lona, it was yeah. different for you. It was very different. They treated you like what, what one of their own probably. Exactly. But but so, you changed job several times. Yeah. Why? So Jeff after 6 months uh, those guys were so good. Then homesick hit me so hard. So one day I just told them I want to go back home. They asked me what did, did we do anything wrong? I said nothing, but I just want to go back home to see my baby. So the, the, the agent that, that, that took me there, he was an Arab called Abdullah, he came and he asked me, what is wrong? Is, is there anything I can change? I said, nothing. I just want to go back home. So they told me, since now you want to go back home, and I paid, that time he told me 12,000 Saudi real, which is like 300K Kenyan, Kenyan money. So he told me I paid a lot of money to bring you here, Lona, you just want to go back home now. And I was serious, by the way, I just want to go back home. Something these guys want, they, 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 they need tough people. If you be soft with an Arab, so, so you have to be tough how? Yeah, you have to be tough, like, I don't know how I can explain it. You, you know what, mm. okay, warm to Mpole, you stand and you know when to talk, how to talk and where to. Not just like that. Mm. Like when she said that, what do we call it? Bunduki, nene, nene. Ukiwana bunduki pale piozi bongambai. <laughs> but Faith, you were abused. I mean, you, you went through hell. Yeah, I went hmm? through hell there. It was a hell. But what Lorna is saying is, you know, lazima ukae ngumu. Yeah, lazima ukae ngumu, lakini kuna ile ngumu ukika, unaona wendi unaumia. The more na kaa ngumu. Kwa zili livumilia kwa hiyo nyumba a period of one year and six months. I started complaining after New Year. Ya kuingia 2020. Hmm. After New Year, I started complaining. I called my agent. After kupigwa ile kipigwa ya kwanza, I call my agent. Like physically? Like, yeah. Hmm? Yeah, kupigwa tu ile tu mzuri unapigwa. Kwa nini? Ulichapo kwa nini? Okay, lilipigwa juu kwa sabu lilitumwa finjar. Finjar is a cup like this. Hmm. Now, mi siju finjari ni nini? Nilaleta, nilaleta nini? Nilileta kijiko. So, wakati nilipatia nini kijiko ni kalingwa nae. Uja maka amuka, kanigo, akanigonga. Kani piga, kanishika ile, kunishika hivi. And vinjari ni hii. So unaonyeshwa ndo hii. Hii ndio vinjari. Eh, the second one ni kagonga nisho kichwa kwa ukuta kujua kateza lilianza kuambia madam. I'm not, I'm no, I did not come here to do this one. This one is not part of my work. My work is just to look after your kids, to cook, to wash, to clean the house. That's my work. Even in my contract, that is what is in my contract. So you labda ulikuwa kichwa ngumu wewe? Yeah, no, I, hmm? I was not that. Okay, uko uwezi kwa kichwa ngumu. Unaona yu mangai nye tunakuanga na hapa hmm. Kenya? First of all, you, you have to know that this is not your country. So you don't have any relative there. The only relative you have there is your phone. And sometimes, some of us, we, are, we don't have that access to the phones. Now, utapele kwa api kichongu mjef. Lazima utanyanyekea. So ati ukiambiwa zoa, kinyesi na mkono. You will do it. Ukiambiwa, do anything, you will do it. Lazima unyanyekea. So me, I try my best kunyanyekea kwa hile nyumba na kichapo yote na mateso yote. Chakula ni maramoja kwa siku. Unakunyo chai na chai strong tea na hubus maramoja. That's it. And I'm working na alala saa tisa na mkasa atatu. Asibui. 
Okay. Well, kila siku. Kila siku, yeah, kila siku. But Lorna, it was, that was different for you. Very different. Let, let's ask the cabinet secretary here, because I'm very interested here. Uh, cabinet secretary for labor and social services, Simon Chalugua. I'm sure you're listening to these stories, sir. Uh, you know, we hear more nightmare stories from Saudi Arabia than the good news stories. What are you getting on your desk? Because I'm sure you get a lot of complaints right there at the ministry. Oh, thank you, Jeff. Uh, thank you uh, for this opportunity to address Kenyans on this uh, topic and uh, migration to Saudi Arabia. First and foremost, uh, Jeff, I would like to uh, thank uh, the two ladies for bringing out a number of issues. So, uh, there is a good story and there is a bad story. But I want to state that labor migration is a source of employment and, for, and livelihoods for migrant workers and one of the avenues of technology and skills transfer. We have had this uh, migration for some time and there are a number of pull and push factors that drive this migration. Despite all these benefits that we would have expected, we have not uh, really uh, got there because of uh, issues of smuggling, issues of trafficking, and uh, inadequate preparation of the migrant workers. So as we speak, uh, Jeff, we have about 97,000 Kenyans in Saudi Arabia. And uh, as we speak, as at, uh, as, as at today, I've been informed by our labor attache, we could be having over 200 Kenyans in some on the deportation or on transit back home. So, uh, driven by a number of uh, 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 factors, some of them are run away from their previous contracts, and employers have take, reported these Kenyan workers to uh, the authorities. However, ours is the smallest. We have our neighboring country. It's reported that uh, there are over 40,000 uh, of them in deportation camps. So. Government has taken note of this. We have we acknowledge the challenges our Kenyan people seeking, um, uh, looking for opportunities and uh, sources of livelihood, some income, some employment across our across the Middle East. So, as we speak, yeah. we've taken a few initiatives as government to address some of the challenges being. Uh, uh, facing our Kenyan migrant workers, particularly in Saudi Arabia. Number one, we have now we did uh, renegotiate our existing bilateral labor agreement, which was signed way way back, and uh, we are now at the final stage. And these are part of the um, activities I intend to finalize when I visit uh, Saudi Arabia, possibly within the next uh, 30 days. And one of the objectives of this trip is to engage uh, deeper on the on protection of our migrant workers we need assurance on payment uh, some basic welfare issues like leave and also uh, mobility or, or uh, flexibility of the contracts so that in the event of any challenge uh, between employee and employer the employees is is uh, allowed to change employer. But, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, Minister. The new yeah. Let me let me stop you there. Okay, fine. It's in the final stages. By the way, I'm shocked to hear that there are 97,000 Kenyans in Saudi Arabia alone. I guess a lot of them, like Faith here, their feeling is they feel like they're being treated like slaves. That's how they feel. Is this part? Is part of the agreement going to change that? Uh, Jeff, uh, the treatment uh, that we are here from our ladies and some unskilled labor uh, is, is part of the discussions that we are going to have in Saudi Arabia. I intend to meet the Ministry of Employment and I also intend to meet the other authorities in Saudi Arabia, including our embassy, and possibly work out a, a relationship between employer and employee. Okay. Possibly look at the employment relationship, terms and conditions 
uh, that uh, these Kenyan workers are facing in Saudi Arabia. All right, stand by. Stand by, Cabinet Secretary. I'll come to you in a moment. Faith, yeah. you got no support from any Kenyans, uh, officials over no, there, did you? No one. Akuna? No one. Embassy? No uh, one. Did no you try? One. I call even embassy guy there. Ali Nyongelesha Vibaya Sana. I call one guy there. Ali Nyongelesha Vibaya. Akasemaje? Ali Nyambia, if you, if. I can use it here. Yeah. You are a girl. And if you need help, you are a girl. 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 And expect me, in Lalena, me na ji respect. Juli liacha bwana angu Kenya, liacha watoto angu Kenya. Me kilicho ni pele koko ni nini kazi. Na i kazi ni meona si ile kazi lilikuwa ni mekuja kufanya. Ni me badilishiwa. Na pika outside kettery. Na fanyi umwa umama nini iyo nursing. Na angali ya kazi ya nyumba. Na fanya kazi yapa tu natoka apa naenda kwa mama yake tu nafanya kazi natoka apa okienda kwa brother tu naenda tu nafanya uko kazi. Iyo kazi zote ni mimi. So wakati naitisha usaidizi hapo embassy. No one. Yeah. What about you, Lona? No. What she's saying is true, because even though I never went through all she went through, what she's saying is true. By the way, it's me too clearly. Mm. The embassy there, they're not helping at all. Exactly. Let me tell you, Jeff, eh? the time that I've been there, outside there, we've had people suffering. Like there was a girl that was brought to her, she had uh, cancer. The embassy, they won't do anything. Sometimes even you'll go visit them and then they'll say, Time Embassy Meisha. In fact, they are doing nothing. And what I could advise the CS right now, what they want to do now, they have done before. And nothing changed. Remember till that time that Saudi was closed? No people are going to Saudi. There's a time they say that they will be, they'll be providing something like dormitories. Eh? When you go work for like a month, you can go and have rest and meet other people. Well, that's what they told us when we were there. But that never happened. So when she says that that embassy, they don't, they better they do nothing. If right now somebody dies in Saudi Arabia, Jeff, do you know that the girls that are there, they meet, they contribute. You're told everybody, at Elf Tattoo, Elf Tattoo, everybody, they meet, they contribute. Come on, 100,000, 10,000, one at one, Kenya. Where is the embassy that time? The embassy, they come, in Kamucho. Like there is a guy called Mwana Amiri. I don't know if the CS knows him. Yeah. This guy is working in Saudi. He's not an official. He's not a Kenyan a, a government official. Akuna job anafanya government. But this guy used to take those issues. Kamazake. If somebody is sick, somebody dies somewhere, he could mobilize people and wambi, you guys call WhatsApp and ko Facebook. He's known. Kujeni tuchangia uyu tunafakupele kwa umwili nyumbani and he has brought many bodies back home. What's his home. name? Mwana wa Mary. Oh, you know him too? Right yeah, now he's arrested. Mwana wa Mary. Oh? He's, he's arrested. arrested, by the way. Konini, what since, did he do? Since February, since, since February, Mwana wa Mary is inside. Konini? No good reason. Nothing. Ajambiwa nini alifanya. Just because, you know, anasaidia watu. And now, embassy na wana ingilili ya kazi yao. Na wakamweka ndani. Amefungwa, hajafunguliwa mashitaka, hajua amefungiwa nini. Let, How many uh, months down the line? Let's ask the CS That's if he's guy. aware. CS, yeah. Jalibui, did you hear about this? The guy called Mwana wa Mary. Mwana wa Mary. Junior, Mwana wa Mary Junior. Mwana wa Mary Junior, who's yeah. been helping a lot of Kenyans, yeah. apparently, in Saudi Arabia. So many. Has been under arrest since? Since February. February. Have you, uh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not aware about that case, uh, Jeff. Okay, but, but he doesn't work for the embassy? Or he's no. Something, something, Jeff, Go on. you need guys to know. You see the government, they don't know what is happening on the ground. They oh. ask yes, mm. He's supposed to know him, by the way, if they follow up. And if they are going to sit down there eh, and try and see what they can do about all this issue, let them include us. Mm. Because he doesn't know what goes down yeah. there. Me, I know. I know what goes, she knows. And you guys She's have your own there. WhatsApp groups, right? Yeah. You guys have yeah. your own yeah. 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 Kenyan content. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, Buenos see us, why don't you engage the Kenyan community there? I mean, not you, your, mm. you know, the, your, the, the embassy there in, 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 in Jeddah, right? Yeah. yeah. Why, does, why don't they engage the Kenyans the way the Kenyans want to be engaged? Mm -hmm. uh, Jeff, we have, uh, we had, I had the first forum since I took office last year. I've engaged 
uh, agencies and some migrant workers four times. I've engaged those in Mombasa agencies and Kenyan migrant workers, those who went and came back, and also those who are planning to leave for Saudi Arabia. We have further introduced the pre departure training for home care workers, and this handbook has been developed and given to these migrant workers before they leave. And agencies who are engaged in this uh, transfer of uh, home care workers have also been uh, sensitized. So in a way, uh, I see this challenge being managed in the years to come. What we are dealing with is the past. My number of uh, migrant workers who left three, four, five years ago are suffering or are experiencing this kind of challenges. But over the period, over, over the last two years, we have intensively engaged the authorities in Saudi Arabia. Okay, hold although on, CS. Has oh, yeah. oh, okay. Although we have not achieved what we want, yeah. a lot is happening. And we okay. believe with these efforts, we will be able to arrive at a certain, uh, at a better position mm. as a country or between us and Saudi Arabia. Okay, stand by, CS. Faith, you, yeah. you only there, what, two years ago, right? 2019? 2019, I came back on June. And the Kenyans who wanna teseka? Wengi sana wana teseka. Kuna wa Kenya wako, wako deportation. Hata niko na, na picha zao, wana lia wanataka usaidizi. And now since they saw me with you on Hot 96, they need my help. I don't know how to help them. So what you call deportation? Yeah. Ni kama holding cell, ama ni kama... Ni kama, they're waiting for their deportation to come back home. Of which, of which, some of them wata riliziwa wakuje nyumbani. Niambio msichana alitoroka nani, alitoroka juu kwa sabi ya mateso, amepele kwa deportation. Uu bosi anatoka anenda kumwekelea makosa aliiba. Now you have to case with that boss. Either you win, utaka hapo hiyo kesi kama itamaza mia sita, mwaka mbili, mia katatu, utaka hapo wakupaka ilisi kwenye bosi ya takushikilia. Lakini at least kukiwe kwa, kukiwe kwa hiyo security, msichana ametoka kwa bosi. Kuna mtu anasikiza huu msichana na kuna mtu anasikiza huyu bosi. Yeah. Kuwe kwa hawa watu wote mali pamoja. Msichana na jililia, bosi anasema. So munaona ata utaiba hiyo kitu, utaiba gold, umeweka wapi? umepeleka wapi ujaiba. So unaekelewa kitu yenye ujachukua. Unapata umeshikwa, nyumbani wanakungoja, hawana pesa, like me, hauna pesa, unafaa urudi nyumbani ujilipia ndege. Ubosi anakata kukulipia ndege. Embassy ya Kenya uwezi kukulipia ndege. Na unajipata hauna kitu yoyote. Unakaa huko. By the way, how much do you make a month roughly uh, as, as a maid? Uh, as a maid, uh, mwenye kwa kukontrak, 23-24. Yeah, 923-24, 900 SR. 23, 24. Uh, Lona? Yeah, yeah. About? Yeah, 20, you know, 27, 28. Yeah. 27, 28. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. But there is something, Wahiga. Oh, sorry. Jeff. Jeff. I'm really sorry. Gosh. There is something, there is something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I think we'll take a break on that note. <laughs> As I gather my uh, self. <laughs> Jeff, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wahiga, are you watching? <laughs> Lorna's talking to you. <laughs> Keep tweeting. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Keep tweeting. I'm quite thank you, Jeff. At Susan TV Kenya, the hashtag is JK Live. We have great stories, uh, real stories about real people in Saudi Arabia, folks. And you may have some questions for the Cabinet Secretary for Labor and Social Services. Let's have them. Your comments, questions. Hey, it's your life. If you want to live like this, it's up to you. If you want to see greener pastures, it's up to you. It's what you make of it. Jeff Kanenga Live takes a break. We'll be back with Waihiga in a moment.